And like I said, I'm not the one to believe in Santa. I put Jesus Christ first, and I won't let you know that. He heard my prayer. God heard my prayer. And I talked, I talked to him. And I put him first today. I want to let you all know that. So before anybody thinks I was doing anything pagan, actually, yeah, so understand me, you know, as personal, I just received my gifts. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, be ungrateful. I'm thankful. God, I love my family. It's okay to spend time with family. I'm not going to be a hip, a hip. I'm not being hypocritical. I'm not being judgmental. And I wasn't being judgmental today. I was being humble. I was speaking boldly and firmly. I was speaking word. I was speaking truth. I was reaching out. I was doing all. I was, I was doing today what I needed to do, do a lot of stuff. God sees everything. So yes, I'm in before anybody argues with me. I know. Don't say, oh, it's, let me ask you something. This is where I really live. So do you see any trees? Because you see, I want to tell you something. And I'm not judging, like I said, on people, for people that want to call me. Just this in curiosity to end all of that stuff. And try to hurt me and my family or anybody who goes against uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not being judgmental to nobody. Nobody should be judgmental to others. If you want to be real about it. I'm not here. To, I told you, I'm not going to argue with nobody. I put God first. And I'm, but I'm not arguing with anybody. But I'm saying, home, ask for me and my house. We will serve the, the Lord. And that's why I'm thankful. You know, because the, the, this is what I appreciate. I like this stuff. And I, and because I know God knew that I was coming in to serve, to help to reach out and this is what I get. And I, I've been praying and praying. I go through a lot of stuff. Look at everything, it's a blessing. I'm thankful for this. I am. This is the best gift I got, I will say. Now I can have some Kingdom coffee, right? I know I got these, but right here, you know, because people need to understand. Even do it all. I know my family may seem to y'all like, you know, I live in, but I will also love my family. Okay, it's my birth family. And the Lord loves me and pushes me a long way. I understand what it takes. What the Lord has done for me since birth. I'm doing on prayer life. And I believe. And I trust the Lord. And that's blessings. I counted already. One, two, three. You know what? And I am thankful because I am thankful for, you know, people... That gave me this. You know, it's funny too. I'm not sure where he is at. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And by the way, and shout out to my people because I am thankful and I'll figure something out for y'all too. Thank you.
That was, that's funny because this was my first one, one of my first ones that I was given this. And this is funny because I was given this. You know, so now I could try some Keenan coffee now. <laughs> you know, but for now, that's good. Now, and then, like, top of that, you know, that was things I appreciate. That's a blessing. Hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the book, the, the Bible I was thinking of right here. This verse right here, I was talking about those who are well had no need of a physician, but those who are sick, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And I have, re, you know, been repenting, but, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I have repented, you know? And I'm not seeing the reproof. And now I'm not saying I'm better than the next. Like I said, I remain humble. But I know there's some things that I know that I ask for mercy. And, and I don't try, you know, but I just, I do know some things, you know, can't explain right now, because I don't know what's been going on. It just seems a little different. A little awkward a little bit, but you know, I am thankful. But I do count my blessings and you know, being around families are good, uh, something that's okay. But knowing what I, you know, but when you ask for some, you know, people that, you know, say that they're, you know, if they're supposed to be friends, look what they do to you. And some friends don't show up. But that's what I'm talking about. Hey, look, at least you know what, my family, but you know, look what I gotta do, you know, what I gotta do. So therefore, yes. Now, I'm not blaming nobody. But there's things that I have to focus on too. It's like when you're going to a party and some people have to be sober while everybody else drinks so you could drive the car. Basically something like that. But like I said, don't, what would Jesus do? Don't let, you know, don't let nobody drown. Pick them up the best you can, regardless of what position they are in. It might take humiliation. It might take a bunch of different other different stuff. But guess what? There's only one that you see trying. And God, you know, I mean, God sees where, how I'm coming, how I came. And God's helped me. He's been beside me. You know, but understand, you know, what I'm talking about. Now, He's my best friend. God is my best friend. And that's the reason why I reach out. And that's all as well. He knows my prayers and he knows what has been, uh, I, you know, and it, and it goes anywhere too. Consistency is key. And love does not hide. So, I mean, it could go through. And like I said, you could either hey, help plot or help build. Like I always have said. See, but like I said, I know there's people, you know, this one and the same, and then this way, this way, this way. So since nobody wants to, you know, and they don't, they want to, hey, this. But, you know, I also have to deal with this, and I got to deal with this, you know, this, you know, this, this, and that. 
you know, this, this, and that, but I know I'm not alone. But I also have to be humble. And I also got to do this. And I got to do that. Responsibilities as well. And so, therefore, you know, <laughs> it's not to hurt nobody. It's not to hurt nobody. But every single day I'm out of my comfort zone. Regardless of what you guys think. What anybody thinks. But am I ashamed of who the people I'm with? I have confidence. Now you tell me. That goes for anybody. And I do it out of love. And I do. And that's not a problem. That's because I love oh, I'm smiling, you see. So at least I'm not being depressed. I feel some things, but I know it's not flesh and blood. Said some things that I know I had to some things sometimes you gotta dive in and it's not to hurt anybody. And that goes for anybody that I'm supposed to be around. Because it might seem like Christmas Day is all, you know, all the, whatever the case may be. But, you know, and these, you know, I have, I have faith and I believe, I believe, but there's also things, you know, you still got things that you got to focus on. Because it's everyday thing. You still got work to do. And that's what I did. As a believer. So while everybody's having a thumb and everything else, and we seem to get some gems, but guess what? I was in the, I, I'm always in the middle of some. Stay out of the road to down or whatever case may be. But also loving and caring and everything else. And God sees everything. And I don't do evil for evil. And uh and then this goes for anybody. That doesn't mean I'm not but no, this is not just a pick at just individuals. No, at the same time, I'll bring you love with me, carry my cross. With a whole lot of different meanings and testimony right in front of you guys' face. There's a relationship with God. Right in front of your face. Everything else. The saying is not to be judgmental, but, and I talked about, he's coming soon. So, hey. Okay.